Inside of four weeks until the 2018 NHL trade deadline, hockey tradition celebrated with day-long coverage on Sportsnet in which Doug McClain just spends eight, nine hours continually mocking us. Uh, for what we're doing down here. I'm already dreading that wake up. Whoa. 6 a.m. makeup for you, Elliot. Here's a Chris Five. Johnson, a senior NHL writer on Sportsnet.ca, joins us for a little headline chat and uh, trade deadline conversation. So we know about JVR and Tyler Bozak and their situation, but Matt Martin is a different type player. He has a contract, but he's not in the lineup. He's not, Darren. It's uh, three straight games for Matt Martin that he's been out, and the Leafs have, uh, according to other teams anyway, been gauging the market uh, to see if he's someone they could potentially move. Look, this team has a roster crunch right now. They have 50 contracts in the organization, which is the maximum you can carry at any one time. They have 15 forwards when you factor in Nikita Soshnikov, who has returned to practice this week after going through a lower body injury type of situation. And, you know, they have depth at that position. So uh, if Martin isn't moved, I, I would think Soshnikov is another player they might move on from. I know teams do have some interest in him. And they're looking for defensemen. Last year, they picked up the depth at center, so... Well, I still think the Leafs want to get a center this year, to be honest. I, I think that uh, that's probably priority number one in terms of things they can get done. I know there's a lot of talk about uh, the blue line, and, and look, you look who they're playing tonight, their, their uh, organizational depth is being tested in this game, but uh, the most likely add for this team uh, will be a depth centerman, someone who can handle some defensive zone uh, stuff and, and you know, give them a little depth there. Defenseman in our market, uh, Mike Green, uh, Tyson Berry. You know, Tyson Berry is a guy that, uh, you know, I wanted to focus on tonight. Colorado went on a big streak without him. He's healthy. He's coming back. And I, I think at various times throughout the last couple of years, there has been a lot of interest in him. I believe this is a guy that Toronto has dipped its toe in the water in before. And I also think that the New York Islanders are one of the teams taking a long look at him right now. Uh, New York, a lot of the problems have been put on goaltending, but their defensive depth has been sorely tested too with Boychuk out and DeHaan out, a really good player out long term. I, I wouldn't be surprised if both of these teams are, are among those who've taken a look at Tyson Berry's an interesting one because uh, talking to people today, they're saying they would love to get a big forward to play with McKinnon in the Barry deal if, in fact, he has moved. So look for Barry to go for a real top high-end forward. So it'll be interesting to see. And the Islanders have a lot of them. Yeah, Green is up. Barry has two more years left. Right. At, uh, on a pretty, good number. Yeah, a good nice, number. Just Very over reasonable. five. Yeah. Uh, Islanders have been connected to goaltending since uh, Billy Smith and Kelly Rudy were the, were the tandem there. <laughs> so uh, you look at Jimmy Howard, uh, Detroit, uh, Jonathan Bernier I just want to say for the record, yeah. I'm waiting for the tweet from, he the text from Healy saying, why didn't Darren include me on <laughs> you, that list? Okay. <laughs> now I'm insulting him. <laughs> You're a good point. Uh, but thanks, he doesn't have Twitter. So <laughs> that's, that's the only good thing so about that. Glenn Healy. Yes. But goaltending, Michael Hutchison again last night. Uh, he plays his first game and was outstanding. So goaltending in the Islanders. Well, you know, I, Doug and I had an argument about this. A I'm, conversation. I, you know, Doug, Doug doesn't have conversations. <laughs> he yells at you. But, you know, he, you believe that they should go for a goalie. I think if they can get maybe a defenseman or two, they might be able to strengthen what's going on in front of them. Grice is going to play tonight against Toronto. He doesn't play much at home anymore. He gets his games on the road. And his last one on the road, he was phenomenal. He made 52 saves against Montreal, stole them a game in overtime, and they'll I'll be hoping for something like that tonight. I, I just can't believe you're the number one goal scoring team and the worst goals against in the league. That's hard to do. That's hard to accomplish that. They need goaltending. There's, I know they're spotty. They have good games. Got to get some goaltending. Are they desperate? Islanders? They should be desperate if they're not desperate. I, I'm with Doug on this one, Elliot, uh, which is a dangerous place to 